Madam President, thank you so much. Colleagues, I rise to present Senate Constitutional Amendment 10. We're on the brink of a U.S. Supreme Court decision that we have every reason to believe will topple Roe versus Wade and erode the right to abortion that was secured nearly 50 years ago, altering reproductive freedom in America as we know it. In California, we cannot stand by as women and families are left vulnerable. Together with Speaker Rendon and so many of you, we've introduced SCA 10 to ensure that the fundamental right to choose to have an abortion and to use contraception is protected in California now and for generations to come. The Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health Organization case, the leaked draft Supreme Court opinion, and the vitriolic debate that followed has proven how precarious our reproductive rights are. This moment has taught us that California needs to be prepared. Those who are determined to strip away our rights will not stop with this case, and neither can we. We have to make absolutely sure that the people of California have access to abortion and contraceptives, no matter who is in the position to affect our rights, from our courts and any future state elected officials to those sitting on the U.S. Supreme Court, in Congress, and in the White House. Abortion is health care, plain and simple. And like any medical decision, it's a discussion between the patient and their provider. These are deeply personal choices that should be grounded in scientific facts, not anyone's political agenda. I've seen firsthand what it means when people don't have that access. During my time providing clinic services at a women's health center, I met a distraught mother whose daughter died after an illegal abortion in another state. I talked with a woman in the Navy who had been incorrectly led to believe she could not safely deliver her baby because she had an STD, a sexually transmitted disease. She was scared, she was confused, and she was alone, and she was misinformed. We helped her understand all of her options that she could deliver a healthy baby despite having an STD. And when she chose to do just that, the doctor who had seen her at the clinic delivered her baby months later. These stories have stayed at the forefront of my mind years after, because these are real people who've been impacted, real families, real lives. I respectfully ask you to consider passing SCA 10 today and let the voters decide on this critical issue.